Hello, everybody. So my headphone jack on my phone died, so I have to use the crappy built-in mic. That's why this sounds like shit compared to the other one. Yeah, all, all of my stuff is kind of going at the same time. I made well dongle yesterday, this, anyway. So this is nicely filled up. That's where they were all coming in. There were a couple of other spots, and we, we filled those up as well. Uh, behind there now is a nice pile of steel wool, but even if the cockroach is one of them invincible cockroaches that can get through all of that, he's going to have to get through all of this caulking that's there, and then and then some. We put two cans in there, and probably another can I'm just going to toss around just for the hell of it to all the little spots in there. But there's not going to be no more cockroach coming in there, that's for sure. Now, the... It's interesting because we got rid of the mouse problem. I knew there was a mouse problem when I moved here. I wasn't aware of the cockroach problem, so we got rid of the, the, the mice are gone. The, where they're coming in from is gone. We haven't seen a mice a mouse in months. Um, some people have asked why didn't we get rid of the cockroaches in the beginning because I didn't <laughs> I didn't I didn't know they were there until I until I actually moved in here and started using the place. We actually have this thing up here on the wall so that people can make a ticket and you have to scan it and there was this one person that was sh here and she had her phone like really far away from the wall so her phone was kind of like here instead of here and I kept telling her and I said you know she's like it's not scanning and I said you gotta get closer to it and she goes I can't and I said you move your phone closer to the wall and she goes I can't and I said Yes, you can, you can. And the guy next to me is laughing his ass off, and I didn't realize that there was a cockroach on the floor, and every time she moved, the cockroach would go and, and go closer to her because the angle that I was sitting at that front desk at was such that I could not see that part of the floor. I could see the part of the floor closer to me. I could see the part of the floor closer to the wall. I could not see where exactly where that cockroach was standing. <laughs> and then we had a, you know, I chased the cockroach away, and that was that. So, I've, yeah, I vacuumed him up, uh, the, all, all the crap that's in there, cleaned it up, did that. You know, I was thinking I could just pour some liquid metal on them like Tech Rex did, but that seemed kind of mean, you know. There's a lot that I learned from, from Tech Rex's videos. I learned a lot on how to repair Apple products, and I've been implementing more and more of what I've learned from his videos into my repairs of Apple products that I do here for my customers. It's one of the, you know, I, I've learned a lot from him. And I think I've learned more from him, actually, than I've even learned from Duke, and probably even more than I learned from Ray over at Notebook Squad. Sorry, sorry, Ray. Uh, you can try to have my, my channel taken down for saying that if you'd like. But I decided not to do that. I figured the vacuuming, steel wool, and that, that spray stuff should should be enough. So today, in addition to that, I'd like to hang the rest of these acoustic panels. We've got, um, you know, we, we, you can see that there's a bunch of acoustic panels hung, and you can also see the return of the Zaumau. Just in time for Paul to get back from vacation. Chris, actually, the thing is, removing the CPU on the touch bars is actually way more difficult than removing it on other machines because the CPU on the touch bar, it, it doesn't come off flat with, if, with a new profile. With any other chip, you can take the chip off. You may warp the board, but the chip doesn't warp. Where with these, if you use the wrong profile, the chip warps. And Chris got a perfect profile where chip doesn't warp at all. Just in time for Paul to come back from vacation. <laughs> and, uh, you got this thing Chris is set up. With the balls. Yeah, you know, Chris is a monster. Monster but, balls. Monster. But we, we're gonna, we have a bunch of the acoustic panels up already, but we don't have the acoustic panels on the ceiling yet, and that's what this is for. Also, a lot of people have kind of wondered why you put the desk this way rather than the way Jeff had it in the picture. I really like Jeff's design. I like, I, I respect his uh, choice in coloring for the floor, I respect his choice in paint color for the wall, for the panels, all that stuff. It's really good. It's just I couldn't figure out how to make that design as aesthetically pleasing as it was work with the sheer amount of people that work here and the sheer amount of stuff that gets done. Like I, We're going to wind up having shelves on top of the desks, additional layers of shelves, kind of like what Paul did with his desk over here. You can see his desk is just a land of insanity, but you know, you've got this, this thing over here, so you could have your bins, you could have a TV, you could have a Dragon Ball Z character. And we have plans to do some of that with the rest of the desk. But yeah, having the desk up against the wall loses you a lot of space. And there's still a lot of space that's not been used. You know, I got some shelves over there, but there's probably going to be shelf, 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 shelf all down this place. You can see that Steve's hard drive collection is kind of starting to finally make its way uh, to, to the shelving from the boxes. This is, you know, his, his donor drive bin. And this is the kind of in progress clusterfuck section of the store over here. So we got to put everything onto shelves. Those are kind of temporary. I want to get some 
something nicer than the shelves that we have at the old store where everything's in an exact slot number. And I kind of like those to be closer to the people. So the center row is most likely just going to be a bunch of shelves with all the different parts and all the machines and things that people over here do for their jobs. So you don't have to walk all the way back there to get stuff. But that's all a work in progress. And yeah, honestly, I'm really excited to see this thing. But honestly, above all, if I'm being being truthful to myself, the thing I'm most excited about in this move is anytime you move, you're going to find a bunch of stuff that you forgot that you had. And when I started the process of cleaning up, that's when I found my hard drive from about 10 years ago that Steve recovered for me with all my stuff on it. But one of the things that I found that's more valuable than anything in that old store Hi, sheepy. I missed you.